Today we're going to talk about how to add a yin-yang to your Word document and how to create a yin-yang bullet. So if you're here, you obviously have a desire to do this. I love adding yin-yangs as my bullets. Let's start with first how to create a yin-yang. It's pretty simple. All you have to do is set your font to wingding without a number after it because there's wingdings two and three. You want just plain wingdings and that will be right here. Once you set your font to wingdings, then you, all you have to do is click your Alt button and in your right keypad, you're going to hit 091 and there it goes. So I hit it, my, you can't see it, but I'm hitting Alt, then 091, then I release. And as soon as I release, the yin yang comes up. It's that simple. If you want to customize it, you could change the size or you can change the color if you want to a red yin yang, you can do that. What's really cool is you could just insert it anywhere you want. Once you have your everything you want in writing in the font that you want, then you switch over to your wingdings and you insert your yin yang wherever you want it. If you want to insert your yin yang in between any of their words, all you have to do is either copy one that you've already done, or you can go back to inserting it in between your words, but you have to remember to switch your font back to wingdings and then inserting it with, with the alt 091. And now it inserts it right inside between your letters. Now we'll see how easy it is just insert your yin yang into your bullet. This is one thing I do like when I'm making a list of things I want to do or um, a vision board list or something. I like to have yin yangs instead of just bullets. Once you find the yin yang you want to keep, like let's say it was a, a red yin yang. What you do is you highlight it, you right click it and copy it. Then you go up to the left hand corner here and you hit, you click on paste the drop down, and then you click on paste special. A box opens up and click on picture and then OK. Once you do that, you have now created an image that looks like this. And when I click on it, you can see that my box is kind of large. It happens, it doesn't always happen with text but it happens with the symbols. So all you have to do is once you click on the box, you right click it and then there's a crop option. And once you hit the crop option, you're gonna close up that box to be much smaller. Now this is a picture opposed to just a font. So you right click on this picture and you select save as a picture. And then you might put this down as a red yin yang and save it under your pictures or wherever else you want to save it. Once you do, you now go up to your bullet section, you hit the drop down arrow and you go to the bottom where it says define new bullet. Once you go there, you hit picture and the option is to insert pictures and we're going to insert it from a file. When you click on file, you go to your pictures and you look for your red yin yang, which is right here, and you insert it. Now you can even see it in the image here that they're in the red yin yangs are already set up. Once you hit OK, you've now inserted it into your library of bullets. So if we have a list of chores that we want to do, what we can do is highlight the ones that we want to bullet go up into our bullets and select. We either could hit the drop down and the red yin yang is there, or if it's the last one we've used, all we have to do is click on the bullet box. And there you go. You have your red yin yangs. I hope this helps. Look for other videos like this on how to's and shortcuts. And if you want, you could even subscribe and hit the bell so that you get notified of new videos that are uploaded. My name is Fran Asaro, and I am the founder of Thrive Anyway, and thank you so much for being here. Have a great day.